Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you guys my Card Fight Vanguard Unite Team Q4 box opening. Got 10 boxes for you guys to open today, as you guys saw by the uh, thumbnails. We got plenty to go through. I didn't really have the easiest way to show all 10 of the boxes uh, easily on the camera, how I have it. But we got the 10 to go through, so it's going to be an awesome opening. Definitely excited for this set. I thought half a case would be good since I was just uh, going in basically by myself uh, for this, since I basically wanted to get a good amount of everything from this set. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So for those of you that don't know, with the Unite Team Q4, you get uh, cards for all four of the main characters, including Kai, Misaki, uh, Kamui, and Aichi. So let's go ahead and crack open one of the boxes. As you can see with each one as well, you are given uh, gift markers. So we'll go ahead and open up some of the first ones so you guys can at least see what they look like. Which I think is very nice that they do. They give us the uh, Force marker, the Excel marker, and the Protect marker, the original ones of how they look uh, for the generics for everyone to use. And you also get the four different uh, promo packs. These are meant to give away to people who purchase four packs at shops and you get one random one. And with each, I'll show you guys what each one comes with. Very, very cool uh, what they did basically for these ones. So you have the Snow Goal promo and uh, the Aichi Force Marker with this one. And you basically get one of each character for all these. So pretty awesome. And for this one we have uh, Extra Muscular, kind of looks like Mr. Invincible to me, and Kamui for his. So with 10 boxes, we're going to be getting 10 of each, which is very, very nice. Plenty of them to use, depending on what deck you want. Plus, like I said, you get the generic ones as well, which if they do that with all the boxes, I think that will be nice for people just to have gift markers when they need them. Uh, Moonlit Night and the Misaki Protect gift marker, which means the last one will be uh, the Toshiki Kai gift marker, which is also a force. And we have Grape Shot Wyvern and then the Kai Force Marker. So you get the four gift markers and the promos with each box, which is very, very nice. And then, like I said, the generic ones, but the main part of the set, obviously, are the boxes. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got 10 boxes, so it's gonna be quite a video. But most of you have already seen what most of the commons are, so we'll just go quickly through all of them. So starting off, we have a Burst Riser and a Knight of Rose Morgana. Third, with 16 packs, it's about 160 packs total, so quite a lot. We'll see what we get all together. We've got a Ruet Magus and Promised Daughter for OTT, or Quickly Tank. I also want to confirm what the ratios will be for boxes, because I think you get Three triples, one Vanguard rare, and then I believe six double rares, which is pretty awesome for numbers for sure. We have a Prowling Dragon striking, and our first triple is Circle Magus for Oracle Think Tank. So definitely looking like an Oracle Think Tank box, which we started off with. The Battle Riser, uh, Rapia, and Miss Splendor. We've got a uh, Hate Reflector for Nova Grappler and the Perfect Guard Wyvern Guard Bari for Kagro. The uh, Perfect Guard Draw Triggers. I do really think those are awesome how they're doing it now that way. So you can, you know, use your grade one to line up differently or not have it be taken up completely by grade ones. We have a Foon Goal and uh, Sotura Hime for OTT. On the first side, we have Knight of Rose Morgana. And awesome, our first Vanguard rare is Dragonic Waterfall, one of the ones that I wanted for sure. So very happy to start off with that. Can't wait to put together that Kagro deck for sure with all the new support. I'm gonna keep Dragonic Overlord in, but I need to take out the, um, I think they're Crested Dragons for the Dragonic Waterfalls, obviously. Cat Butler. So for the first side, we're ending off with a Vortex Dragon and a Flash Shield Assault as well for Royal Paladin. So, so far so good. I think we got one triple and one Vanguard rare. So it means two triples, I think, at least on this side. 
I'm curious to see if that's how they'll be splitting them up as well. You know, like one Vanguard rare and one triple on one side, and the other two on the other. So we have Battle Door Fighter and Yellow Witch Mimi. And let's see how we got here. We have Oracle Guardian Gemini and High Powered Riser Custom for our double rare there. I do like how they made all the riser cards as well. You know, pretty high hollow rarities. Very, very nice how they did that. We have a burst riser. And our next triple is Soul Saver Dragon. She looks really, really awesome on this. And she's a, quite a scary card too, uh, for sure, for the Royal Paladin deck. Once you build that soul up, if you have enough rear guards on the field, um, you should have enough to at least do some hefty damage if not push for game. Uh, Bellicosity Dragon and Boomerang Thrower. We have a lot of rares and hollows after this box opening, that's for sure. And kudos to anyone who sticks it out to the end, because I always like watching box openings, just to see how the person does total. Pongal and Cruel Dragon. It's always fun just to stick along for the ride. And I always like to at least talk as well, because two too quiet videos tend to be kind of boring. Uh, we have a Farful Magus and a High Dog Breeder Akane for our last triple rare. So I think we might have one, two, three, four, five, one more double rare. We've got two more packs left, so let's see how we do there. A Pongal and a Farful Magus. The last one right here. Let's see how we do. We have uh, Prowling Dragon Striking, and yep, our last double rare is Twin Blader for Nova Grappler. So, not too bad for the first ratio. We have, like I said, the three uh, triples, the one Vanguard rare, and six doubles. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hollows for 16 packs. It's not bad at all. I really do like that they raise the hollow ratios for each one. But moving on to box number two. Yep. Cut it just right in there. So. And the promo packs are the same, so you just get those out of the box and get right to the next pack. Let's see how we do. We have a Farful Magus and Cruel Dragon. Like I said, the commons definitely do get, you know, um, kind of repetitive after a while. So we'll just skip those. Striking and Burst Riser. We have Knight of Rose Morgana and Weather Forecaster Miss Mist. So we've gotten all of the perfect guards so far. Um, right in a row, too, because I think we pulled three from the last box. And starting off this box with Miss Mist, it's quite nice. We've got, let's see you, Strike In again. And CEO Matarasu is our first triple for this box. For this one, we've got Ruette Magis and Raupia again. Let's see how we did on this one. We've got Miss Splendor and Conjurer of Mithril for Royal Paladin. I don't think we pulled that in the last one, but a good double rare. Definitely used in the Royal Paladin deck, just for easy searching, for sure. Let's see if we get one more triple or Vanguard rare on this side. Ungol and Hate Reflector. We've got uh, Soturahime and Dragonic Gaius for this box on that side. So I don't think we actually we finished that side with just the four. So that means this side is going to be. Quite, actually, I think we might have got Cruel Dragon on that side. So it might just be split five hollows on each side too. That means let's see how it goes on this one. Burst Riser. And we have King of Knights Alfred for the Vanguard Rare from this box. Very awesome. A uh, Vanguard rare that highly relies on Blaster Blade, but you know, Blaster Blade is a pretty good card, so. And most likely meant to be the full focus of the Royal Paladin deck for sure. Vortex Dragon and Battledore Fighter. We 
should still have two triple rares too. So we'll see what those are. Uh, Yellow Witch Mimi and Victorious Deer for Oracle Think Tank. Uh, Oracle Guardian Gemini and Bellicosity again. Let's see how we do this pack. We've got Ruet Magis, and oh, nice, awesome, Blaster Blade, or well, I think this is the uh, Origin Rare. This is the one with Aichi Sendo on it, so I think it's one per case, too, so very, very lucky since I was able to get 10 boxes and I pulled this one. Oh, that looks so cool. It's even got Aichi's autograph on it, and box number two, too. Ah, uh, sweet. Very, very nice. The Shine. It's, I don't think it's an origin rare. I think it's a... Image rare? I think that's it. Rare. I think the um, origin... My girlfriend Marissa is watching in the background. I think, yeah, the origin rare is what the original art looks yeah. like. So I think it is an image rare because it has Aichi on the uh, front. Very, very nice. So. Oh, yeah. Now all of the Aichi fanboys can... I think it'd be cool if they do it with Ren as well. You know, with, like, Blast of Dark. I so. actually think this is... Yeah, this is... This Boomerang is Thrower. Twin Blader. I'll take it. It's a very, nice pull. Very cool. Awesome. For sure. Happy I pulled it. Definitely. Keep it? I don't know yet. <laughs> it is nice. We have a Pongal and another Soul Saver Dragon. Sweet. And the last pack. So I want to see the ratios too after this just to see what was the total number. I think I lost count. But let's see how we finish it with this pack. We have Farful Magis. And Flame of Hope Arrow. So we'll take a look real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so we got 11 hollows from this one. So the uh, image rare did not take up any uh, rarity spot, which is very nice, but still very, very awesome that we pulled that. And box number two as well. So moving right along, let's get some of the wrappers out of the way. And continue right along, about one fifth of the way done. On to box number three. Don't want to mess up any of the promo packs, which we'll get those out of the way. And then get right on to the box. We have a Ruet Magis and a Promise Daughter. If the video ends up getting too long, I might just, um, you know, cut the video, open some of the boxes off screen, then do a recap at the end. But we'll see how our time goes. We took up some time there with the image rare, but still very, very cool. We wanted to make sure we were full attention for that as well. We got Hate Reflector and Flash Shield Assault. So two doubles so far in this box. A Fungal and Sotorihime again. We've got oops. Ruet Magis and Ashura Kaiser. So that's our first Ashura Kaiser from the boxes. We're only on box number three though. I can see the box closing as well. We have uh, Vortex Dragon and High Powered Riser Custom. So no Riser Customs yet, but I'm sure we'll get some along the way. Battle Door Fighter. And Yellow Witch Mimi. Last pack from this side. One triple rare pulled. And that was the Ashura Kaiser. So we have Oracle Guardian Gemini. And another Cruel Dragon. We pulled one of each Cruel Dragon from all three boxes so far. But we pulled the image rare. So no complaints there. Let's see how we do with the final part of this box. We've got Lizard Soldier Raupia and Silent Tom. Nice. So our first Silent Tom as well from these boxes. We 
We've got Bellicosity Dragon and Boomerang Thrower. We've got Pongal. And there he is, Riser Custom, the double rare. Very, very nice. We have Farful Magus and Prowling Dragon Striking. Oops. We've got Stick right there, Miss Splendor, and very nice, another Dragonic Waterfall for our Vanguard Rare. So we're two Dragonic Waterfall and one King of Knights Alfred so far for the boxes. And we've got to think about three more packs, including this one. So let's see how we finish off. Burst Riser and another Miss Mist Perfect Guard. We've got Morgana and a CEO Matarasu Triple Rare for Oracle Think Tank. So we pulled Ashura Kaiser, I believe. Um, Sure, Kaiser, Silent Tom, and Amaterasu. So I think those are all the triple rares. Let's see how we finish off. We have a Burst Riser and a Knight of Rose Morgana. I, keep, I feel like I see Morgana and Burst Riser in a lot of packs together. But let's see. Move some of that stuff out of the way. We'll move some of the hollows too. So just so we can clear some space. And we're on to box number four now. Making pretty good time, I would say, with the boxes. So I might just film all of them on camera. Might be better that way anyway. It'll be for a long upload, but definitely worth it in the end. So we've got Yellow Witch Mimi and High Dog Breeder Akane as our first triple rare. I want to go too fast because when I see people ripping open the packs, it also kind of damages the cards I see if they're not too, too careful. Mimi and Twin Blader. So two for two on the Mimi's as well. We have a Gemini and Bellicosity. Oops, we got Boomerang Thrower. And Little Sage Marin. I don't think I pulled Marin yet. This is box number four, and I don't think I pulled one Marin yet. So, pretty weird how those will be, but I bet they'll all be coming in now with all the different ones. So let's see what we got here. Bellicosity Dragon. And, oh, nice. Vanguard Rare Perfect Riser. So we've pulled all the Vanguard Rares so far, except for Imperial Daughter. But I'm sure we'll get some of her along the way. But, awesome pool there. And we pulled, yeah, one triple so far. We've got Pongal and Farful Magus again. No secret Vanguard rares yet either, so hopefully we'll at least get one or two from 10. Prowling Dragon Striking and a Promised Daughter. I don't think those take up any ratios either, just like the image rare, so. We have a Burst Riser. And Morgana. And on to the... Yep, five hollows pulled from the left side. On to the right side. We have Oracle Guardian Gemini. And we have Circle Magus again. Triple rare for Oracle Think Tank. Definitely have enough for a lot of different decks, that's for sure. We've got Pongal, and oh nice, this is actually the one I wanted, so happy we pulled that. It's a Secret Vanguard Rare Dragonic Waterfall. Very, very nice. I love the red and the text border. Uh, it says, Dragons wield the power to cleanse. So, very, very nice. Very fitting for Dragonic Waterfall. Awesome. Very, very happy to pull that. Nice. Yeah, I got one coming in a trade, so I'll have two Dragonic Waterfall. I gotta get all of the Seeker Vanguard rares for sure. Let's see how we finish the box. We have Ruat Magis and Wyvern Guard Barty. Draw trigger. I love how it doesn't take up, um, you know, 
any hollow spots either. Gen rares used to take up triple rare spots, but they completely fixed that problem. Ralpia and Miss Splendor. Got Hate Reflector and Flash Shield Assault. And we have three packs left in this box. Fungal and Sojura Hime. Go. Vortex Dragon and High Powered Riser Custom. I think that might be all the hollows from this pack. Let's count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we might have one more hollow since the secret Vanguard rare doesn't take up a spot. And we also pulled a Vanguard rare and a secret, so that's pretty awesome there. And we have Battle Door Fighter. And yep, we still had one triple rare spot, Berserk Dragon. Definitely needed some of those too for my Kagro deck, so glad we pulled that. That is it for this box, moving right along. I'll just have to organize all the commons and everything after the video is done. But let's continue right along. This is the box number five, so we'll be halfway through at this box, which we're making pretty good time. Like I said, it's half a case opening, and usually when you're doing a case, you'd be splitting the boxes anyway, so I think the time would have been the same. You know, let's pour out everything for this box. That's the right. And that's the left. Maybe it'll be a little easier. Start off with the right side this time. We've got Boomerang Thrower and Circle Magus again. Nope. You can kind of see the corner popping up. We got Pongal and Soul Saver. So we were getting the triples right out of the way. That's why we start with the left side for sure. The right side seems to have all the full hollows for sure. I think we pulled the image rare and the secret Vanguard rare both from the right side. Uh, Balakosti and Boomerang Thrower. Oops. Like that stickiness. I think it's the heat, definitely. But Pongal and Miss Mist is what makes these, you know, rares stick together. Because if you guys remember from my Bermuda box, we were having the same issue as well. We have Farful and Striken. Let's see here. We've got Burst Riser and Conjure of Mithril. Front Trigger, Morgana, and Rua Magis. Last pack on the right. We have Rapia and Dragonic Gaius. So on to the left. The left is where we'll have that Vanguard rare and one more triple. Oops. We've got Farful Magus and our triple is Flame of Hope Ermo. So glad I got another one of those. Uh, very nice to see. I'm curious to see if we'll get Imperial Daughter in this box or not. We've got Miss Splendor and Hate Reflector. We've got Fungal and Victorious Deer again. All right, so everyone take your bets on what the fifth box Vanguard Rare will be. Sotorahime, Vortex Dragon. We are winding down. You can see a draw trigger there. There's Miracle Kid. There's Battle Door Fighter and Twin Blader. And there is, let's see this, Yellow Witch Mimi and Oracle Guardian Gemini. If I remember correctly, I opened a case of set 11 with uh, my friend Austin. I think that video was 45 minutes long, if I do remember correctly. So, And we opened box at the same time, striking. And up, oh, yep, called it right this time. Imperial Daughter Vanguard Rare, very, very nice. I was hoping to at least get a couple of her. Just to make the ratios a little more balanced. But as I was saying, I think that video was 45 minutes long. So with the time going, I think we're making pretty good time. Since I opened 10 boxes in that video too. It was the same speed basically. Bellicosity and ending this box off with Marin. So we are halfway through all the boxes. So 
on to box number six. Like I said, I think we're making pretty good time. Got big piles of all the promos over here as well. But it'll be very, very fun to organize afterwards. On to box number six. And the box on that one. Promos out of the way. Stretch my feet for just a sec. And here we go. We have Miss Splendor and Hate Reflector. I end up seeing those ones a lot too, I've noticed, in the box, in a pack together. I guess if you're a Nova fan and you want to pull those, luck will be on your side. We have Victorious Deer. We skipped right over the rare for that one, but we've seen plenty of rare, so we want to get right to the foils anyway. Sotorahime and Vortex Dragon. Battle Door Fighter, Marin. So that's my third Marin that I pulled. And for this one, we've got Fungal and Flame of Hope Airbow. I thought it was Soul Saver, but I guess the colors on the right side do look a little similar. I thought it was like its wings flapping. Mimi and Gemini. Yeah, a lot of Oracle Think Tank found in packs the other two. Let's see if the two rares we get in this one are the same or not. But watch it be a foil. Yep, and it was a Kagero and an Oracle Think Tank. Promise Daughter. So, one triple and three doubles so far from this side. We should have one more hollow to make it a 5-5 ratio. Boomerang Thrower? Uh, nope. Pongo on that one. So I guess I'm completely wrong when it comes to the ratios they put on some of the sides. It might just be completely random, but maybe they try and balance out as best as they can. So they don't put like, you know, eight hollows on one side and two on the other. But starting off this side, Farfel and Wyvern Guard Bari. For this one, I can see her hair. We've got Soturahime and CEO Matarasu for our triple rare from that end. Striking and Burst Riser. And we've got, there she is, Flash Shield Assault and Morgana. So if it's easier for me when flipping through the packs, we might just go from the hollow first this time and then the rare for some of these. Root Magus and Raupia. And we've got Vortex Dragon, and our Vanguard Rare is King of Knights Alfred. So I think we've got two Waterfall, two Alfred, one Imperial Daughter, and one Perfect Riser so far out of six boxes. So pretty balanced so far. Um, we'll see how it goes with the next one if we get like a third Alfred or a third Waterfall, which I wouldn't mind the Waterfall because like I said, that's what I want to build, but Miss Splendor and High Powered Riser Custom. Last pack, let's see, are we needing a triple rare still? I think yes, we still need one more triple rare, so I'm gonna call Silent Tom for this one. We've got Soul Saver Dragon out of this one. So wrong, but still a very, very nice card to pull. So we've got, i gonna find room just to throw the boxes. Four boxes left. A little quiet there while I grab the other box. Let's move right along. Get these commons out of the way. Yeah, here we go. Promos. Which I will definitely have plenty of promos and gift markers after all this is done as well. So if you need any of those, be sure to message me and I'll get back to you. Rapia and Miss Splendor. Oh, no, there we go for that uh, one-sided ratio. Dragonic Waterfall, which if you include the Secret Vanguard Rare, I have my four Waterfall right there, but I'm not complaining because that's what I wanted from my boxes. Very, very nice. 
but we could still pull the secret Vanguard rare from this pack for two, don't forget. We have Promised Daughter, Hate Reflector, Sotra Hime and Fungal. Yep, we got Wyvern Guard Bari, which I think I have plenty of Baris now. I don't know how many Twin Blades I have, but I guess I'll have to count it all up in the end, just to see for sure. Yep, Triple Rare, Silent Tom, Pongal. I think old Pongal for sure for premium will help with Soul Saver, the new one, just because it adds to the Soul to add Soul Saver. So you're definitely going for the Soul build up there. Battle Door Fighter and Mimi. Last pack on the right side. I can't remember if I've done my last two boxes in the right side, in not including this one or not. But we have a Flash Shield Assault and Oracle Guardian Gemini. And we got five hollows from that side. So we have. Good feeling about the left side on this box. Let's see how we do. We got a CEO of Matarasu. I gotta swap my rares and hollows. I'm getting them mixed up there. We got Bellicosity and Gemini. And now I'm putting the rares where they were originally. I'm just completely confused now. For this one, we've got Dragonic Gaius. And Boomerang Thrower. Very weird to see Dragonic Gaius as an 8K. I always remembered it as the 6K unit. Pongal. Farful. And it's only a matter of time with the last box that I just start saying, you know, one syllable or two syllables for their names. Twin Blader. And Striken. And we have Ashura Kaiser, which I think that's my second Ashura Kaiser with everything we've gotten so far. Uh, Morgana and Burst Riser. So last box, last pack from this box. And we have a Marin, which I think that's my fourth Marin. So there's a playset there for that. And moving on, we've got three boxes left. I'm just moving all the rares and hollows each time just to make it a little easier so we don't run out of room on camera. But let's see how we go. We've already pulled an image rare and a Vanguard, secret Vanguard rare, so I would call that pretty good odds for half a case, for sure. And then plenty of Vanguard rares and triple rares as well. Good ones too. This is just an awesome set, especially if you're a fan of the original four. Definitely. Oh, this pack's been a little difficult. I don't want to damage anything. I don't know if we'll call that a bad or good sign, but let's see what we got from this pack. Two rares, so maybe I'd call that lucky. I think we went from the left side for this one. And we have a high powered riser custom and a Morgana. A uh, Raupia and a Ruot Magis. I can only imagine how many times I've said all these names in this video now. Cruel Dragon. Actually, been a while since we've seen Cruel Dragon. We picked up on him in the first three boxes. But I don't think we saw him since the first three. Hate Reflector and Fungal. And we've got High Dog Breeder Akane and Morgana. Two packs on the left side. There is Riser Custom. And Soterahime. Soterahime, or that's how you pronounce it. And last one from the left, a Vortex and a Battle Door Fighter. A lot of garbage, that's for sure. 
But we've got from the right, Miss Mist, putting it with the rares. And we have got, moving right along on this side. We've got our triple rare Circle Magis and Ruet Magis. Gemini and Belcosity. We've got Conjurer of Mithril and Boomerang Thrower. Pongal and Farful Magis. So we've got three packs left from this box. Oh, see the Vanguard Rare peeking out. And we've got a Perfect Riser. So this is our second Perfect Riser from our boxes. And a Lizard Soldier Rapia. And we have a Dragonic Gaius and a Strigon. Last pack, we have Berserk Dragon and Burst Riser for our triple rares. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Normal box there. We got two boxes left. And once again, I commend whoever stuck through for the whole video to watch this. It was quite fun. But we're not done yet. We still got two boxes. I gotta find the box cutter. If I can't, I'll just rip through. Because with the beginning ones, I didn't want to damage the box. But I think we can spare these last two. Move the last one off the camera. And we'll pour these ones out. Got the right, and we got the left. Let's see how we finish up. Start with the left side. I think that's how we've been lucky when we start left. And we have a Conjure of Mithril and Soterahime. Vortex Dragon and Battle Door Fighter. We have a Dragonic Gaius and a Mimi. You know, I said we start on the left side. The right side seemed to always be stronger for us, for sure. The Balakosti and Gemini. And we've got High Dog Breeder Connie, which I think we have pulled more than four of her now at this point. And we've got Victorious Deer and Boomerang Thrower. Two packs left on this side. Pongal and Farful Magis. For this side, we have Twin Blader and Strike It. So, so far from this side, five hollows, four doubles, and one triple. Let's see how the right side deals us. Vortex Dragon and Circle Magis for Oracle Think Tank. Burst Riser and Morgana, which, yeah, I definitely see Burst Riser and Morgana appearing a lot in a pack. Or if not that, Mist Splendor and Hate Reflector. Those are some patterns I'm seeing. We have Little Sage Marin and Ruet Magis. Still need some triple. A triple and a Vanguard Rare, I believe, at least. Raupia and Mist Splendor. Or you can see those two, I guess. We've got Battle Door Fighter, and we have Perfect Riser for our other Vanguard Rare. So I think we're three for each of them. Actually, no, we might be three, three, two, three Waterfall, three Perfect Riser, one Imperial Daughter, and two King of Knights Alfred so far. We have a Promised Daughter and a Hate Reflector. Just need to 
stretch my legs for a second. Two packs left. We have a Berserk Dragon and a Foon Gall. I forgot where I put the rares for a sec. And last pack. And then we got one more box. Hate Reflector and Foon Gall. So let's see how we end it with the last box. Don't have, I don't remember where I put the box cutter, so we'll just put it there. But the final box. Plenty of promos. And the packs. For our first pack, we got Cruel Dragon and Oracle Guardian Gemini. How we start our first box too, I believe. We did get Cruel Dragon out of the first box. I do remember that. Bellicosity and Boomerang Thrower. We've got Riser Custom and Pongal. Start strong with the double rare. Powerful Magus and Striken. Silent Tom and Oracle Guardian Gemini. Weather Forecaster Miss Mist. Burst Riser. Two packs left on the left side. Morgana and Magus Root. Oops, put the rares over there. Don't want to mix those up too, too badly. Last pack on the left. We have Conjure of Mithril and Raupia. Oops, there we go. And let's see how we finish off with the right. We have a Berserker Dragon and Bellicosity Dragon. So we've got two triples down so far. Let's see if we can at least finish off with one more Secret Vanguard Rare or an Origin Rare or a Signed Card. Let's see. We have Miss Splendor and Hate Reflector. We've got Dragonic Gaius and Fungal. Five packs left. Soterahime and Vortex Dragon. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So we still need at least three hollows. Let's see if we can get one extra as well. Up, oh, we have our last Vanguard rare, which is Imperial Daughter. So at least we got more than just one of her, which would have been crazy for sure. Let's keep on going. As long as we pull a hollow, we have a chance to pull something good. So we're winding down. And we have Battle Door Fighter and Victorious Deer. Two packs left. And we've got Ashra Kaiser and Yellow Witch Mimi. So our final pack, we pulled three hollows in a row. Let's see, that should be all the hollows in the pack unless we get one more special card. Let's see how we end it. And we have Battle Door Fighter and Yellow Witch Mimi to end off the 10 boxes from our half of a case. So we'll gather everything up real quick just to show the total amount of the hollows, which is quite awesome, just all the ones we got in total. So this is the full pile of all the foils that we got from the whole box. Very, very happy that we pulled the, if I can get to it, hopefully I didn't mix them in and I lost them, but it should be in here somewhere. Very happy that we got the Secret Vanguard Rare and the Origin Rare Aichi. So from half a case, I would say that is definitely very, very good there. But they're somewhere within this pile, I know that. 
because all the foils were over there. And we got a pretty good number of all the Vanguard rares as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely sticking along for this video. Like I said, definitely the uh, Aichi Image Rare and the Dragonic Waterfall Secret Rare, which I cannot find it at the moment, but it is somewhere in this pile. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out. We gotta find it real quick just so I can show it off one more time. Yep, there it is. Didn't want to lose it in the pile, but very, very happy with those pools. Once again, see you guys next time, and Kira Qualia out.